Hello, I'm Jeremy, and welcome to another episode of Jeremy U's Reviews, where mistreated movies get a second chance. So a lot of people have been talking about the film Everything Everywhere All at Once, and saying some really good things about it. And that, combined with an interesting concept and the fact that A24 produced it, resulted in me seeing the film. And that was a great decision, because... Everything, everywhere, all at once is straight up amazing. It's like if you combined the human element of Sorry to Bother You, the mind-bending trippiness of John Dies at the End, and the unpredictability of Freddy Got Fingered into one film. And yes, it is as unhinged as that description makes it sound. Every time there's a moment of calm, something immediately happens to take you out of that calm. I was on the edge of my seat, not knowing what on earth would happen next. I also like the creative way that this film tackles the multiverse. I really love multiverse-related content, from Tomska's Meanwhile sketches to the very first film I reviewed for this channel, Howard the Duck. The multiverse is such a creative idea with a ton of story potential, and everything everywhere all at once takes full advantage of said potential. The idea of verse jumping is a creative is a very creative and interesting idea that the film uses to its fullest. And the idea of being able to access certain skills by doing something you wouldn't normally do is very interesting and makes for some good comedy. Like there's like the scene where one of the verse jumpers humps a lamp. But what really makes everything everywhere all at once a great film is the way it handles its characters. Evelyn, Waymond, and Joy are very likable, sympathetic characters that the film does a great job making the audience root for. You really feel the emotional struggles that they go through even if you don't directly relate to them. And this emotional connection and sympathy makes the dramatic moments hit even harder. The acting is also phenomenal. There is not a single bad performance in this film. Michelle Yeoh does a good job giving her character a sense of grounding that contrasts off the crazy stuff going on in the film. Kei He Kwan does a good job capturing the nervousness and timidness of Waymond. Stephanie Hsu does a good job of making Joy feel realistic, yet centered in the crazy world of the film. And Jamie Lee Cur Curtis is absolutely perfect as IRS Inspector Deidre. But the best thing about the actors is how they're able to convincingly switch personalities. Throughout the film, we see different versions of most of the characters, and each actor does a good job making you feel like they're a different person. It reminds me of that one episode of The Good Place where Eleanor, Chidi, Tahani, and Jason were all Janets. Like Darcy Carden, the actress who plays Janet, the actors in Everything Everywhere All at Once do a really good job of making you feel like all the multiverse people are completely separate beings. As for, for the multiverses themselves, they're also really creative. Throughout the film, we see a ton of different universes, and all of them are really interesting and creative. My personal favorite are the hot dog hand universe, the pinata universe, the hand-drawn universe, the rock universe, and easily the most out there, the universe where a guy uses a raccoon to help him cook a la ratatouille. It's very creative and adds to the absurdism of the film. But the main reason I love Everything Everywhere All at Once so much is because of how it made me feel. Everything Everywhere All at Once made me feel something that no other film made me feel. The creativity, emotions, nonstop insanity, and fantastic filmmaking put me in an emotional high I've never experienced before. Every second I was excited to see what would happen next. And each individual element really made, made the film stand out. In conclusion, Everything Everywhere All at Once is an amazing movie. It's creative, well acted, funny, relatable, and put me in an emotional high I've never experienced before. I highly recommend checking out this film as it's truly a beautiful, funny, creative, and amazing experience that shows why A24 is such an awesome studio. 2022 has been a really good year for movies, as unlike the last couple of years, there are actually movies I'm interested in seeing. I'll probably review some of them in future videos, but for now, Everything Everywhere All at Once is easily my favorite film of 2022 so far, and I don't see it being topped. 
That's all for now. Join me next time when I return to the series to talk about another great 2022 film that's certainly less well-received than this one. Till then, this is Jeremy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.